contender. Uh, got a nice big tan right here. Big door. Uh, got quad 425. Uh, Yamaha V8 XTOs. Got two nice big live wells. I'm not sure the size on these, but they're pressurized, which I love. I'm guessing it's about 40 gallons right here. 40 gallon live wells right here. I love this clear top on these new center consoles where you can see in your bait. You can see what's going on in the live well. Got a big bench seat on the back here. I believe this does fold down. Uh, I got storage here, storage here. Got another live well right here. This one looks like a 90 gallon. That's a big live well. Got a fridge. Yeah, there's a fridge rigid cooler right here. We got rod holders up here. We got drip cup holders. We got a uh, tackle storage, base to store your tackle. Uh, got uh, more tackle storage right here, two drawers. They do have a tower option, this would be where you go up to the top. Uh, plenty of rod holders. On this one right here, we have the three uh, chairs, and then we have a bench seat in the back. Very comfortable chairs. Uh, there, I do believe there's storage under these chairs. If I can open it, plenty of tackle storage. And uh, these captain chairs up here, you can sit up nice and high. You can see over everything. If you're driving in rough weather, so there's a 44. Sit up on here and navigate any storm or anything. Go and drive the boat well. We got two big 24 inch garments. We got the Yamaha uh, Home Master. We got throttle, everything, nice fusion over here. And a uh, really nice protected place where you can store your phone or something. Up here. As we go down the side, you got spots to store your line, gas tank. Lots of cushion down the side. We've got a nice big chair right here to sit back and relax while you're running. Uh, I do believe there's a cooler underneath here. And uh, you have to take these pieces off to get here. And up here we have plenty of space to fight a fish. And me personally, I like it where I can kite fish. This boat is more of like a cruising boat rather than a kite fishing boat. But you could have plenty of space to walk up on the bow. Put plenty of raw holders up here and fight any fish up here. Kite fish off of this anchor box. Um, then we got a huge storage area for a fish box. Go inside. Okay, I'm about six feet tall, and uh, I could fit in here. Probably move a couple bodies in here, and uh, lots of space. You know, store luggage like if you're going to the Bahamas or something. There's lots of storage in the deck. More storage. You got plenty of space to walk around. Uh, you got plenty of dental storage down there for your rods and your gas. Uh, even spear guns you could do down here. Uh, this does have a generator on it, I believe. And uh, this console. So here, come around. And the console right here. You got a little uh, toilet, little sink. This is all the wiring for your electronics. I believe it's down there. And you can also store some stuff there too. And uh, close it. And we got more storage down, down, down under here. And uh, there's definitely plenty of space in this boat. Plenty of fishability. Um, great boat for a weekend or anything. This boat, it's a boat show special 700. Because it's normally around 716 with the uh, quad 425 XTO V8 Yamahas. And there's plenty of space here. You can store a couple of guys can sit up here. Three people here. You can put uh, four people back there depending on how big they are. Maybe even five if you have some kids. There's definitely plenty of room on this boat, guys, and it's a really nice boat. And uh, 
So far, the, the boat should walk through it, and this is a nice boat. We didn't see any yellow fins or anything, but it's a contender, and it's a 44 foot FA. It's a really nice boat, guys. So, if you guys think about contender, this is definitely a good boat. I recommend it.